Okay, we're going to be looking at the full screen API and how you can trigger a full screen view of just about any element on a page. And the first thing that we're going to do, as you can see here, is make a video full screen. So as you can see, I have a just a video, we can play this, and I have a button down here, regardless of the controls here, which do have a full screen trigger, I can hit go full screen and that will take me into full screen. And I can just go ahead and easily exit it with either clicking this or pressing the escape button. So we're then gonna build up something other than a video to go full screen, so just a normal container. And this works in pretty much the same way, so there isn't really much of a difference. And obviously we're gonna talk a little bit about browser compatibility and how we do things differently in other browsers. Okay, so to start out, we're not starting out with a completely blank page, but near enough to it. We've basically just got a normal document here, and I've linked in a style sheet and a script. So if you're following along, go ahead and do this. And inside of both of these files, these are empty, so we're gonna be building up these from scratch. So the first thing I really want to do is include a video, and we're gonna look at how we make this full screen using an additional element. So an anchor, which probably makes more sense, will make this video go full screen. And this doesn't have to be a video element, it can be anything, but we'll focus on video just for now. So let's go ahead and add controls to this so we can play the video and, and do what we want with it. And let's give this an ID. I'm just gonna call this element. Uh, the reason I'm calling this element is because we're gonna be switching over to an element other than video later, so we'll keep the naming the same so we don't have to change the JavaScript too much. So inside of here, let's have a source. And I have a folder called video, and I have a video called cat.mp4 in here. If you're using a browser like Firefox, this won't work because it's uh, an mp4 file. But in other words, just go ahead and grab a video and uh, you can test this out. So when I hit refresh now, you can see we've got a rather large video here. So let's just add some styling just to combat this. So I'm going to target element and I'm going to set the width of this to perhaps 40%. So when we go ahead and refresh, we now have a video on the page. Perfect. So we can trigger the we, we can trigger full screen and you've obviously seen this if you've watched any videos on any websites. You'll see we can just trigger with a full screen just like that and we get a full screen view of the page. Now we want to add a link that does this without having the controls. So for example we could just get rid of the controls. Uh, you may have an instance where this is necessary. You might want to build your own controls that control every aspect of this player uh, or you may just want to have a, a particular element go full screen which we'll focus on next but this pretty much ties into that so let's create an anchor here and we'll just say go full screen and we'll just uh, we don't need an href for this let's give this an id of full screen okay so now that we've got that we need to go ahead and write some javascript to trigger this um, we'll do it the simple way first i'm using chrome so i'm going to be using the webkit implementation uh, but we'll also look at other browser implementation as well so the first thing i want to do is just uh, target this element if you're using jquery or something that's absolutely fine this will work exactly the same way as long as you've selected your element in jquery you do something like this uh, I'm going to be just using plain old vanilla JavaScript. So document, get element by ID method, and then choose that element name. So it's element. So we can test that this is properly selected if I just bring up my console, and I'm going to type element here, and there we go. We know that this is the element that we're targeting, and we'll be using the console uh, throughout the tutorial as well. So we also want to obviously grab this full screen link because we need to be able to add an event listener to this. So let's just target that. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to attach the event event listener. So we're going to say add event listener. And that's going to be on a click. We have a closure just here. And then just to test this out, I'm going to console log it worked or something like that. So let's click this and we see in the console it worked. Perfect. So as long as we're at this stage, we can now start to... Uh, put this element full screen. So let's look at a very basic example of how we do this using the WebKit implementation. And then we'll create our if else, if else, which is really annoying, but we'll talk about that later. So let's do this now. So we target the element. We've already targeted the element. We can just say element. And all we do is we say WebKit request full screen. Now notice the small s here. I've been quite many times putting the s in capitals. 
Unfortunately, the Mozilla implementation of this does actually have a capital S, which is really confusing. So it's a method here on the element. Now, when we click the event listener now, this is going to take that element full screen. And you can see I've got my console open here as well because I already had that open. The beauty of this is that if you do want to, you can inspect this and you can start playing around with things while it's in full screen. So that's really, really handy, a really good thing to know. So let's come out of full screen then. And let's introduce some other implementations here. Uh, if I open Firefox, you can see that we've got, we, well, we can't see the video because it's not supported. But if I hit go full screen, at the moment, this doesn't actually work. You can see here, we've got a type error, element.webkit uh, request full screen is not a function. So what we can actually do is, depending on what browser that you're using, there's a mic uh, Microsoft implementation, a Trident implementation for this, and uh, as well as um, obviously uh, WebKit uh, and the standard implementation as well, which is just request full screen without any vendor prefix. What we can do is because we've got our console open, we can say element dot, and then we can just check what's available to us. So we can say, uh, let's say WebKit request, and you can see it there, it's already there. Um, so if I hit enter, and you can see that that's the um, native code that will trigger this. Um, so we can actually use this to detect if it's available. So rather annoyingly, what we sort of have to do here, and this does get a little bit messy, so it's a little bit hard to read, but we can say if element dot, and then we can check each implementation. So I'm going to say request full screen, which is our standard implementation. Then if that's available, I can run the request full screen method. Now at the moment, that doesn't exist within Chrome, so it doesn't work. But if we add an else if here, and we say elf, else if element dot webkit request full screen, we know that's there. So we say request webkit request full screen. So now that works. It takes us into full screen. So let's now add some more just in case you, well, you probably will want to target as many browsers that do support this. So let's go for um, Mozilla now. So if that's available, and remember this only, I think it only has an implementation with a capital S, which is pretty annoying. We can check this in here. So if we type element dot moz request yet yeah, looks like it only has a capital letter implementation, which is pretty annoying. Uh, it gives us a lot of inconsistency, but that doesn't matter too much. So Moz request full screen, perfect. So last but not least, uh, or I guess least, if depending on your opinion, uh, the Trident or Microsoft implementation. So let's say MS request full screen element dot ms request full screen now i'm not going to be testing this on um on my on internet explorer uh we're just going to stick with chrome and um firefox so this worked on chrome we know that let's head over to firefox now although the video isn't supported uh, because it's an mp4 we can still hit go full screen and you can see that that does take us into a full screen view with a much larger notice here of what's happening and this is really important, actually, because it's um, really important that this is taken seriously, because what you're actually doing is you're taking over the user's screen. They could have a small window open that triggers something full screen. That's going to that's going to completely fill up their screen. So this gives it, this sort of gives you clear instruction. Press escape at any time to exit. Uh, you can remember the decision to deny or allow full screen for the particular host you're on. In my case, I'm just working locally. So that's a really, really important thing there. So I'm going to exit that. So just briefly sticking to that same subject of triggering full screen, uh, when when things like full screen come into mind, I think pop ups. So remember sort of five odd years ago, uh, we had the problem of a mass amount of pop ups on on pages. So adverts being uh, put full screen and sort of confusing everyone. And this is really important for accessibility as well. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to try and trigger this video full screen. Uh, I'm actually going to add the controls back in here because I want to just play the video. So I'm going to try and trigger this now 
to make it full screen. And I'm going to do that using the console. And we could do this in the file, but I'll just show you from the console anyway. So let's say element dot webkit request full screen. And let's run that method and let's see what happens. It says undefined. So let's try this in Firefox here. So let's say moz request full screen. So we get undefined and we actually get a more useful message here. So let's have a look at this. Request for full screen was denied because element.moz request full screen was not called from inside a short running user generated event handler. Now that's a little bit of a long winded way of explaining it. Basically that means that a user has to click a button in order to trigger full screen. They must click something, i.e. this button that we've implemented it into our code to trigger full screen extremely important otherwise what could happen is you could land on a website boom they could put something full screen it could be an advert it could be a video it could be absolutely anything but you've now just had a full screen uh, activated without your permission very annoying so that's the reason that that happens so if you are wanting to trigger full screen automatically you can't unfortunately so we've looked at video. Now let's take a look at actually triggering uh, a normal element on the page. So let's get rid of this and let's create a div with an ID of element just so that the JavaScript that we've written still works. And let's just write something in here. So hello, I am some text. So now according to our JavaScript implementation here, we are getting an element. We are getting the full screen button, we're waiting for a click, and then we're putting that element into full screen. So let's check out how this works. So we've just got, hello, I am some text, go full screen. And now you can see that this does actually work. We've got this, um, it looks rather odd at the moment, but we'll talk about how we can remedy this. We've got this text here, which has effectively gone full screen. And we, we have all the normal controls, we can still inspect things. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and the same works with Firefox as well. Let's just refresh this and hit go full screen. And we're in full screen. You'll notice though that the um, if we just do a control A, you can see up the top here, uh, it'd be rather small, but you can see hello and some text up here. So what we really need to do now is for the purpose of both uh, WebKit, in this case, we've only got this very small bit here, we need to work out how to style this element. So again, I'm only going to be working with Firefox here, and I'm only going to be working with Chrome in terms of these examples, but you can find information on other browsers elsewhere. So we're going to style this full screen element like this. Um, so we can say something like width 100%, height 100%. So WebKit at the moment is the only browser that doesn't automatically put what you're doing uh, or what you're making full screen 100% width and 100% height. Um, now at the moment I've got the element set to width of 40%. I'm going to get rid of this otherwise it's going to actually make it 40% of the full width. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to hit go full screen and now you can see we've got a full height and full width of this text here and you can see the text just up here. So what we're now going to do is look at implementing the Moz full screen selector because there's a couple of things we need to do here as well. So let's say, oops, uh, Moz full screen and let's say background white and let's refresh and hit go full screen and there we go. We've remedied that. It, it, it looks a little bit grey but that's just because we've got this here. If I hit allow, we're back to normal. So you can add whatever you want to this container and it will appear full screen. You might want to tweak this for other browsers just so you get the full experience across uh, browsers that do support this. But generally, we've looked at two sort of the major browsers um, in terms of supporting functionality like this, and they're both fairly easy to uh, get, get started with this. So that's how we put elements in full screen with the full screen API. There's a lot more you can do here depending on what browser, but go ahead and play around with it uh, and see what you can do.